Hello guys, this is Saurabh or in this video, I'm going to show you how to implement social login in your WordPress website. So you can see here, uh, that's my website here. Uh, if I want to log in in this website, so we don't need to enter username and password here. We can log in with our social account. So here I'm using Google. So I'm just click on here, right? And you will see here is sign in process uh, running. And uh, after it, we need to choose the account and uh, here we go right uh, so uh, authentication successful and now you can see that's my dashboard here click on dashboard and uh, i'm successfully logging into my wordpress website admin panel right so here uh, is my another website here is there is no any social login so we are going to create social login and implement the social login in this website right so what should you have to do first you need to log in with your credentials right and uh, after it we are going to install here one plugin that's called next and web so click on web plugins add new and search for next and web uh, no uh, social login right here next and login sorry so clear install this plugin and you can uh, see here review is 5 star right and click on activate okay now uh, what should we have to do uh, we are going to integrate here uh, google right so you need to go to the setting and you will see here option next and social login click on this and uh, after this you will see the dashboard of this plugin and here and uh, we are going to implement here uh, google right here you can see there are a lot of things here right so i'm going to uh, okay it's already enabled so i'm going to click on uh, disable option i don't need it actually uh, i already have done this so that's why i'm seeing this so you will see like this uh, uh, like this you need to click on enable option and uh, now go to the setting and uh, you will see here uh, that's already actually verified so I'm going to show you default right uh, from the scratch so click on getting started here and what should we have to do we need to do some process here is 17 steps so don't worry about this that's very simple steps you just need to click on this link here right and that's very simple don't worry about this process that's very easy process so what should we have to do we have to uh, get the value uh, of google uh, api plugin so and then uh, there is two things first thing is uh, here is credentials and auth client id right so here we need two things so we have to log in with our social account google login google account and you will see here that dashboard of google api console and uh, now what should we have to do uh, we need to create one project here so click on credential click on credentials right and you will see here is a project like you will see there is uh, woocommerce right now and uh, if you don't have any product so you will see here is blank screen so you need to click on new project like this and after this you can put your project name also otherwise just click on create wait some seconds and uh, this will creating our project you need to select your project from here and it will take some seconds okay we already have created our project name is my project right so here you you can see the project name that's our project so select this your project here now what they will say login with your google credential if you are not logged in okay if you don't have a project yet you will need to create a one you can do this click on create project we already have done this and 
right here now click on create button we already done name of your object okay done once your project united dashboard done now click on credentials right we are on seventh steps okay so i already told you that's very simple so click on create credentials and we need to what they will say here left menu new api credential select the auth constant screen so you need to click on auth client id okay and uh, what they will say to create an auth client id you must first set the product name on constant screen so you just click on configure constant screen and this will redirect you the this here and you just need to type your project or like uh, website name right so uh, my website is the coding bus here and uh, yeah, you don't need to do anything right and uh, application home page link authorized domain so you just need to type your domain name the coding bus dot info and save this right that's my website here and this will redirect you to here create auth client id so we have a web application so click on this name is web application one authorized javascript origin and authorized redirect url so what should we have to do you can see here the authorized domain authorized domain is our the coding was dot info like this authorized domain copy here and you will see save it and auth client id web application name of your project and you will see authorized redirect url so you need to copy and paste this whole right and copy this and paste in the second what they will say uh, invalid must be either http or https so here we need to https like this that's my you can use http also okay i'm going to copy my domain name from the url copy it and paste here Uh, domain must be added to authorized domain list okay so what should we have to do click on authorized domain list here right and this will redirect you to list of your authorized domain and here you can see authorized domain right here click on this and uh, what they will say must not specify protocols right so here what should we have to do uh, remove this and uh, click on enter and already and click on save button right and uh, wait some seconds and you will see create credentials option after okay you don't need to do uh, you just need to click on other client id we already have done it you will see uh, we already have done this process right so what should we have to do we don't need to do anything we have to done paste our this this will accept it and redirect url is copy this and paste here right and click on create now uh, click on the create button model should pop up with credential right and what should we have to do right now we just need to copy and copy this client id click on copy and paste this client id in go to the setting option and verify setting you will see client id here you need to paste this client id in here and you will see there is your client secret you need to put secret is here right and click on save changes after this you will you need to sign out from here click on log out and you will see this in your google here in login screen you will see continue with google so click on this you can change this logo right here is the option of this uh, logo this brand okay uh, i'm going to use here first one account 
and uh, now you can see authentication successful and now I am in dashboard of my website click on dashboard so right here so you don't need to uh, put your username or password in your WordPress login you can use this in your WooCommerce website also if you want to connect your audience with the Google accounts right or some their social accounts so so you can do this thing also in your WooCommerce website also right so if if you have any doubt any problem you can ask me on comment and thank you so much for watching this video please like my video and subscribe my channel thank you so much